part 5 the highest common factor you will find this on page 10 in the namibia mathematics grade 8 textbook y equals mx plus c to success now the highest common factor of two or more numbers is the largest natural number that is a factor of each number there are different methods of finding the highest common factor if the number are not too big the easiest method is the listing method and i think it's also the method that you did in primary school for example if we find the highest common factor of 16 and 24 we will first list the factors of 16 and 24. now i like to show my students the following i'm busy finding the highest common and that if stands for factors so basically i'm just going to write down the factors of that numbers i'm going to write down the factors of 16 and the factors of 24. remember that i explained how to do it in part one so it's one times 16 two times eight as well as four that's all the factors of 16. Then 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. That is the factors of 24. Now, let's continue with this word. First, that C, C stands for common. So what factors are common? So if you look at the factors, it will be 1, 2, 4, and 8. They are common factors. But don't forget, I'm looking for the highest common one. So if you look, which one is the biggest one, that will be 8. So the highest common factor of 16 and 24 will be equal to 8. Now, if the numbers become too big and there are too many factors, a more efficient method to use is prime factorization. And I'm going to show you again two methods. If I asked you, find the highest common factor of 105 and 720. First step, break 105 into prime factors. Break 720 into prime factors. And I prefer the repeated division method. Remember that we take prime numbers as divisors okay after you did that now write it in factor form and try to write first there's no twos where this one is having twos so start with three times five times seven now fill in this prime factors in the second row so it's two times two times two times two times three times three times five so if I look at this, I will see that there's a column of threes and there's one column of five. And that two columns is indicating to me the highest common factor. So I can basically say the highest common factor is three times five, which will give me 50. That's the method I can do when I write it in prime factors and then in factor form. But if I do it in index notation, so take that prime factor and write it in index notation. This will just be 3 times 5 times 7. But this, count for me the amount of 2's. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be 2 to the power of 4. Count the amount of 3's. 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5. And then basically, I will, and this is very, very important just move this a little bit here find the factors that occur in both numbers and multiply them to find now please can you remember if i for example have three to the power of two this is the base and this is the index so write down only the bases that occur in both numbers. Now, if you look here, the only base will be 3 as well as 5. 
and then continue in both numbers and use the smallest exponent. So look, there's 3 to the power 1, there's 3 to the power 2. So what will be my smallest index? My smallest index will be 1. And then 5, that's the index 1, 1, so my smallest index will also be a 1. So basically it will be 3 to the power 1 times 5 to the power 1, which will also give me that 50. I want you to stop the video quickly, and I want you to do for me, try now 4. I just want to move this up a little bit. Try now 4, and first just do number A. And then if you finish, you can continue with D. And in the next session, I will explain that to examples. That will be part 6.